So in this lesson, we're gonna be discussing the top two things you can do to help get your plants through the hottest days of summer. Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author, Saving the World with the Home Garden. So my two helpful tips to help get your plants through the hottest days of summer is one, mulch, two, whitewash. And when it comes to mulch, mulch is simply adding a layer, a two to three inch layer of wood chips around your plants and the wood chips can be derived of many sources. And actually most experts will say that the best mulch is actually derived from several different varieties of trees. What you're doing is bringing the benefits of all of those different plants to benefit those surrounding plants you put that mulch around. So most people at first glance see mulch as being something beautiful in the garden, but there's actually several benefits of actually adding mulch to the garden that will help curb the hottest days of summer and also it'll help curb the coldest days of winter so what you're doing is helping the plant thrive those weather extremes and overall you're going to get a much happier and healthier and longer lasting plants and trees on your property than if you do not mulch those plants and the benefits specifically that i want to share with you are these top seven helpful tips when it comes to mulching your plants and trees on your property Specifically, lesson number one is to make sure that when you mulch your plants that you're only adding a two to three inch layer of mulch and more is not necessarily better because if you start adding four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve inches of mulch to your property, what you're going to end up doing eventually is you're smothering those air layer roots and bear in mind that about 80% of the root mass of a tree and all those air roots and those feeder roots as they're called are in the top 18 inches of the soil and if you've just added another four five six inches of wood chips or more what you're doing is you're making oxygen impenetrable to the root zone of the tree and you're going to end up messing the plant more so than benefiting it so again try to stick to a modest two to three inches Doing less is gonna offer less benefits and adding more, as we just explained, is also gonna smother those roots. One of oxygen and two of moisture getting to that root zone as well. So you, you've got a couple of issues that are gonna happen if you go too much, too thick with those wood chips. Helpful tip number two is to keep the wood chip and the mulch layer away from the tree trunk as I'm showing here on my property. When the wood chips and the tree trunk come in contact with one another, those wood chips are absorbing moisture as does the tree trunk on the plant. And when those two moisture layers come in contact with another, it can result in a phenomenon known as stem rot. And the bark of the tree is gonna rot, damaging the underlying cambium tissues. And those underlying cambium tissues are transporting the water, sugars, and minerals up and down the tree. And when that gets affected, so does the overall health and longevity of that plant on your property. So be sure to keep that wood chip layer of mulch away from the tree trunk. Helpful tip number three is that mulching will help reduce weeding by as much as 90%. Imagine you get 90% of your gardening time back simply by making your property look beautiful by mulching around your plants and trees on your property. For the few weeds that make their way through the mulch layer, they're a lot easier picking when they're in a pile of wood chips than when they are in contact with the soil. Helpful tip number four when it comes to mulching your property is that it's going to help conserve water by as much as 75% and saving water is also going to save you money and imagine you're going to be conserving water on your property and also having to frequent your property less often because the water is not escaping that topsoil as readily as if it was not protected by a blanket of mulch so conservation of water and just a lot more easier management and care of your plants and trees which just makes it so much easier for your plants to just naturally thrive in your home garden. Helpful tip number five and six is that the blanket of mulch on your topsoil will help keep that topsoil layer several degrees cooler in the summer. And the other tip is in the winter, it's keeping your topsoil several degrees warmer. And by curbing those weather extreme, the plant's gonna be a lot less stressed and overall it's gonna be performing more blooms, more fruit, more growth, more everything you'd want your plants to be doing on your property. And last, but also very important, is helpful tip number seven, which is that mulch layer is slowly breaking down and feeding the soil organisms, which in turn are releasing the elements out of those trees and that mulch layer, feeding all of the surrounding plants with the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, calcium, so much more. 
So now that we've discussed mulching, which is helpful tip number one, the second major thing you can do to help protect your plants and get them through the hottest days of summer is whitewashing. And whitewashing is one of the least understood and least practiced, but just as important for the overall health and performance of your plants and trees as fertilizing, as mulching, as pruning, as all of the other gardening practices you can think about. Equally important, if not one of the top three, should be whitewashing your trees. And a lot of garden experts will say that the day you plant a tree should be the day you whitewash your tree because now your trees have gone from a nursery setting to now it's sitting in your home garden exposed to, and especially now for those plantings you did in spring, the summer they're exposed to 14 hours of daylight and intense heat and those tree trunks are burning. And we've demonstrated several examples of first, second and third degree burns to citrus trees, to avocado trees, to fig trees, to roses, to so many different plants. And I'm sure you can just walk around in your garden and see examples of sunburn. In addition to walking around your city and community and city trees, they, again, since they're in tree form, those tree trunks are exposed to full sun and they are suffering. And even if it's not visible, as I just explained at the beginning, there's also layers of burn happening, whether it be first, second, or third degree burn. And just like our own skin, if we're out in the sun, 90 degree day for 14 hours, our skin is gonna get fried, but some skin can tolerate more sun than others. But at the end of the day, your skin is hurting. And if it was protected, now your body can focus on healing other parts of your body instead of trying to heal skin cancer and skin damage. So that is the benefit of whitewashing. And what IV Organics offer is an organic alternative to latex and tar based products that are designed to last 100 years or more. You paint your house, you can visit it 100 years later, or a haunted house, and there's still paint on your tree, but you put it on your plants in your garden, and they're naturally gonna grow. And within a year or two, all of that paint is gonna slough off and contaminate your garden soil indefinitely. And Ivory Organics has offered an organic Omri listed for organic use, both in the home garden, as well as for orchards across America and around the world to protect your plants from the effects of damaging summer sunburn, as well as the coldest days of winter as well, offering sun scald protection. Additionally, the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard has the added oils that offer insect and rodent repellent protection to prevent the damage girdling effects of rodents, in addition to boring beetles, termites, and when applied to your plants in the foliar form can help also repel aphids and scale among other sucking, chewing, and damaging insects and pests that might be harming your new plantings as well as your established trees. I hope you found these helpful tips beneficial to helping your summer garden get through these hottest days of summer. And if so, be sure to give us that thumbs up and most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And don't forget if you haven't done so already to subscribe and hit that push bell notification to stay informed of all of these educational lessons as soon as they become made available. As always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.